Manny, he spoke first off. So Manny, after the first game of this series, the Padres, they lose 9-4 to four in the first game of this series, right? And Kevin AC, he's like the only beat writer in Pittsburgh. Dennis Lynn's not there for some reason. The local media is obviously not going to Pittsburgh for this. I guess AJ Casimo wasn't there. Kevin said on the radio the other day, he was the only beat writer there. And he asked Manny if he had time to talk. And Manny replied, I don't have time. And that was pretty much it. And when that happened there, that was a bad look. That that pissed me off. Like, really? This team is playing really bad right now. You're supposed to be the captain of this team, the leader of this team. Sorry, dude. You're getting paid millions of dollars. It comes with the job. Go ask Derek Jeter. Go ask Aaron Judge. Go ask other leaders of big organizations that have World Series contending aspirations, right? Those superstar players. When things are bad, you still have to talk. You don't you don't get to say, I don't have time, and you just leave. Like, no, you can't make excuses. You can't dodge media. Just say, just, you know, give Kevin something there, right? So I thought that was a bad look, especially when one of his superstar teammates, Fernando Tatis Jr., had time to talk. So I don't know if he was literally going to the video room. It's like, yeah, I don't have time to talk, or he had to get on a bus. I don't have time to talk. But according to Kevin, seems like Manny just walked right past him. I don't have time. That's a bad look. Now, I do applaud him for the next day coming out and taking accountability like he did before the National Series about don't blame the hitting coaches. This isn't on the hitting coaches. This isn't on the manager. It's on us. He spoke to Kevin. He probably realized, yeah, that was not my best thing to do uh, on Tuesday night to say I don't have time when I'm the captain of this team or supposed to be the leader. The, yeah, the, the public, at least publicly, we viewed him as the captain of this team, right? The big contract, the second big contract, Peter Seidler's love of him. Um, captain, one of them, one of the leaders of the clubhouse, right, with Joe. Wasn't the best look. So he was like, yeah, all right, I'll give you whatever you want, Kevin. The next day, and this was before yesterday's loss, before Wednesday's, or excuse me, yeah, before Wednesday's loss, which was 7-1, to one, he said, quote, we need a little more urgency as a team. We just do, end quote. And I'll get to the other one. But first one there, really? Why? Like, that's embarrassing right there. To say you need more urgency, you're halfway through the season, essentially, at that point in time that he was talking there, and you're just realizing now, yeah, we need a little more urgency as a team. Shouldn't the urgency have started once you got below 500 or once you got close to 500, once it got a couple season, a couple months into the season? That's when the urgency should have started. Shouldn't have been relaxed like, yeah, 2022, we you know prove that, yeah, okay, we beat the Dodgers. We're one of the best teams in, in baseball. Look at us going into the year. Look at FanFest. Things will turn around. And that's what Manny and some people in the clubhouse, like they've admitted thinking like, yeah, things will turn around. Manny says, yeah, I'm embarrassed how I've been playing. I think we're all embarrassed. We know how good of a team that we are and we're not living up to that standard. That's why I'm telling you the urgency and the want is what's going to separate us. I think it's there in everyone. We just got to find it. And when we do, let's not let go of it. Again, having to find that, Really? You need to find the urgency? It takes you to get five, six games under 500 to get urgency? I mean, come on. That should not happen. When you're getting paid millions of dollars and you say your goal is to go win the World Series, you shouldn't have to wait until then to have that urgency. Now, I will credit him, like props to talking to Kevin, realizing he made a mistake the day before, the night before, and Admitting, yeah, I'm embarrassed for how I've played. And I think as a team, we're all embarrassed. We need more urgency. You know, I credit him for being accountable like that, like he was accountable before that national series to the media in San Diego about it's on the players. It's not on the coaches. It's, you know, they, they work their butt off. It's not on them. They give us all we need. Like, I like that. That's captain stuff. But 
Why not just say that after the game? Why have Kevin, why force Kevin essentially to write, yeah, I don't have time? Because that's what happens. Kevin's the only guy there, and you tell him, I don't have time, he's going to write that for full context, context of what is happening in that clubhouse, full context of the whole situation. So why don't, why don't you say after the game, instead of saying, I don't have time saying, yeah, need to be better. I'm embarrassed for how I played this year as a team. I think we're all embarrassed. The urgency needs to be better. It needs to happen. And we need to keep the urgency. Why couldn't you have said that after game one of this series, after not talking after the Nationals series loss on Sunday, you don't talk again. Like, I'm not expecting him to talk every day, but it created something that didn't have to be created, right? Derek Jeter, Aaron Judge, guys like that, would they have created that in the press? No, they would have spoken and not said, I don't have time. They would have spoken instead of making a story out of it for a full day before you speak. And that gets published, you know? So it's like, it didn't need to be that. So look, it might sound like I'm pissed off at Manny. I'm not pissed off at Manny anymore. Like, I like the accountability. I just don't think that he should have said, I don't have time. That's not a good look. I get he's a human being. I'm not asking him to, to speak every day to the media. I think that he shouldn't have to speak every day to the media. That's the manager. But when there's one reporter there and the team's playing bad, you're the captain, you didn't speak on Sunday, don't say I don't have time. I think that's a bad look. 